four pairs of jointed walking legs are attached to the cephalothorax. In front of the walking legs is a pair of appendages called palps, whose bases are used to seize and hold the prey. In front of the mouth are the fangs, which connect with poison glands. Venom for poison gland is injected through these hollow fangs. On the front part of the head are the eyes. Most spiders have eight eyes. This is a close-up view of a spider's eyes. On the underside of the abdomen are the openings of respiratory organs. The spinnerets produce silken threads for the spider's web. They are near the end of the abdomen. They contain tiny openings through which fluid from the silk glands is discharged as sticky threads. These threads harden upon exposure to the air. On the hind legs are claws used to place the strands in position. The spider's claws are also adapted for walking on the web. Here a spider climbs so fast that the thread becomes tangled. The web serves to trap small insects upon which this spider feeds. As soon as an insect strikes the web, the spider rushes out to paralyze it with an injection of venom. Then the spider ties up its prey with silk. Often the spider does not consume its victim until later. At its leisure, the spider returns to suck fluids from the body of its victim. In time, only the empty shell of the victim remains. All of the soft parts have been consumed. This is a water spider. It exhibits an interesting adaptation for living in ponds. Its web is a unique structure. The web is like a tiny diving bell anchored to submerged plants. Watch this spider go to the surface and bring air bubbles down to its web. Another species, the raft spider, does not build a web, but constructs a floating platform of leaves and twigs. The mating activities of some spiders are curious. Sperms are transferred from the palps of the male to the female. If the male, who may be smaller, does not escape immediately thereafter, he may be caught by the female and eaten. Crab belongs to a very old group of arachnid-like animals. It is sometimes referred to as a living fossil. It is a marine animal found along the Atlantic coast of North America. It burrows in sand or mud near the shore, emerging at night to seek food. This king crab comes turned over and is trying to right itself. Scorpions are another type of arachnid. Their bodies are divided into a cephalothorax and an abdomen. The cephalothorax bears the eyes, mouth, and appendages. The first two pairs of appendages have pincers. Behind these are four pairs of walking legs. The front part of the abdomen has six distinct segments. The second segment bears comb-like pectines whose function is uncertain. The parasitic ticks are much larger than the mites, partly because they gorge themselves with blood. Here the sucking proboscis may be seen. In summary, most spiders live on the land. Water spiders and raft spiders live in ponds. Scorpions are related animals. So are the harvestmen. Mites are also tiny relatives. 
red spiders are really mites. Ticks are parasitic arachnids. 